One must remember the Arusha declaration and the nobility of the intentions of Mwalimu Julius Kambarapi And that is why many of you may not know, but at one time it was suggested that he be made a saint of the Catholic Church. <laughs> and the reason was very simple. This was a man who had ideas. This was a man who had clarity of thought. This was a man who could see the future almost with the exactitude of a Jewish prophet. This was a man who had the humility almost like the humility of the carpenter of Nazareth. This was a man who loved his country. He made mistakes and when he made them, he realized and corrected them. That is his great. Nobody can rule guiltlessly. This is a man who found 120 plus ethnic groups and welded them into one nation. So that Tanzanians speak with one voice. You know, if you look at Tanzania and you ask your typical Tanzanian, what was the ethnic extraction of President Kambarake Nyerere? They do not know and they do not care. <laughs> if you ask Tanzania, what was the ethnic extraction of the second president of Tanzania, Zehari Hassan Mwini, the Tanzanians do not know and they do not care because it does not matter. If you ask them, what was the ethnic extraction of the third president of Tanzania, Benjamin William Mkapa? They do not know, and it does not matter, and they do not care. And if you ask Tanzania, what was the ethnic extraction of your fourth president, Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete? They do not know, and they do not care. And if you ask them, what is the extraction of your fifth president, John Pompey Makufuli, they do not know and they do not care. They only know that he's a bulldozer. <laughs> but you go to my country, Kenya, God save my country. <laughs> God save my country. When you meet your typical Kenyan and you introduce yourself as John, they'll ask for the second name, not that may, they may know your full name, but that they may identify you with your ethnicity and pigeonhole you accordingly. <laughs> when you go into that country, which is a great country in prospect, but which is being destroyed, by negative ethnicity, you ask them who the first president of Kenya was, they'll tell you it was Jomo Kenyatta and he was Kikuyu and we care, we want to have Kikuyu. <laughs> and if you ask them who was the second president, they'll tell you it was Daniel Arab Moy of the Kalijin extraction and we care because it was our turn to eat. <laughs> And if you ask them who was the third president, they will tell you it is Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta and he is a Kikuyu and we want him to continue because we Kikuyus and we Kalijan only feel safe when one of our own is in the house. <laughs> and if you ask the opposition and you ask the leaders, you ask the leaders from my own ethnic group, the Luo of Kenya, the Luo will tell you we have been marginalized for too long. The time has come that God must smile upon us. And our son must be the president. And if you ask the Luhia, they'll say the same thing. That is a tragedy of gigantic proportions. I'm submitting to us that the country called Kenya needs political hygiene. I'm submitting to us that the country called Kenya needs to come to Tanzania here on a benchmarking tour and that the President of the Republic of Kenya and all our parliamentarians should sit at the State House and be lectured by John Pongerman. <laughs> Great Tanzanians will be there, and 
Nyerere will remind us katika karne ya 20 na moja tupande basi ya makabila ujinga na upungavu because it can destroy a nation 